helicopter crash in Calabasas, which is just north of Los Angeles. Malibu, Malibu deputies are on the scene working with Los Angeles Fire on the investigation into what happened. The crash occurred just after 1 p.m. when reports of a downed aircraft uh, took place on a hillside and the Los Angeles County Fire Department just briefed reporters and this is what they had to say. Okay. Good morning, uh, Tony and Brenda, Fire Captain, Public Information Officer, LA County Fire Department. Um, still early on in this incident, we received a call just before 10 a.m. this morning, LA County Fire Dispatch, of an aircraft down here in uh, the Malibu area right off of Las Virgins, essentially Calabasas, right off of Las Virgins Road here. And uh, apparently some folks were out here mountain biking this morning and saw an aircraft in distress that went down into the hillside. Um, there, it, this was a helicopter. It's been confirmed that it was an F-76 Sikorsky helicopter. And unfortunately, there were no survivors. Um, right now, we're in the very early phase of this. We still have some fire activity on the hill. So LA County Fire Department uh, units are, are doing a progressive hose lay right now to get water up. The, the, the aircraft is down pretty far from the road. So we're having to put uh, several hundred feet of hose in to get up there to cool down the scene. And right now we're waiting for the arrival of NTSB investigators. Uh, there's not much more to add right now. We're still in the very early phase of this. We don't have any information as to who the aircraft belongs to or the victims or even the number of victims at this point. We just know that it's multiple fatalities and there were no survivors. Any uh, communication from the helicopter to We've, we've checked into that, and at this point, I don't have any information as to whether or not the aircraft radioed any distress. Uh, we just know that, uh, that uh, the individuals that saw the aircraft said it was coming down at a, at a fairly significant rate of speed and impacted the ground uh, on the hillside behind me here and started a approximately quarter acre brush fire. Uh, as I said, uh, the wreckage is still pretty hot up there. Uh, typically, there's some magnesium involved in these aircraft incidents. So we have uh, firefighters up there right now uh, trying to make sure that we don't have any fire spread and trying to preserve uh, whatever evidence we can for NTSB investigators to do their job. As I said, it was a Sikorsky S-76. We don't know, sir. We don't have a number on the number of fatalities so right now. How many people can that helicopter carry? I don't have that information. It's easily researched, though. Where was it going? Don't know. Don't know where it came from or where it was going. Of course, that's information that will be forthcoming. We're in the very early phase. We're, we're less than an hour into this right now. So right now, we're just in the process of incident stabilization, uh, making sure that we can preserve what we can for investigators to be able to do their job. Is the weather not a factor at all? Don't have any information to that, sir. How